What's up guys, I device help here and today Apple released iOS 10.3 beta 4 to register developers. Now it was a pretty large download, it was 439.8 megabytes to download this software and as always in this video I like to show you any new features if any are available and starting with the build number for iOS 10.3 beta 4 which is 14E5260B, it is the latest build number and on my previous video I forgot to mention that there's a new applications tab and when you tap into it, it brings you to a list of applications that are compatible with the latest version of iOS so these applications that show up here may need to update or may slow down your device due to the fact that the developers fail to update them to support the latest version of iOS. I'll also notice that if you tap on any of the buttons on your screen while the update is going you get a prompt that your iPhone uh, is updating at the moment and that it will respring or restart after the phone has officially finished updating the software. I also wanted to take a minute to see if Apple is working on fixing bugs. Remember that one bug I showed you that if you click on the airdrop and the rotation lock simultaneously the phone would freeze it looks like Apple has fixed that bug so you can see there it no longer freezes when I tap on both of those oh actually it does oh wow <laughs> I thought it didn't, but it actually does. It looks like they almost fixed it. You saw that uh, they looked like they fixed it, but nope, the iPhone will respring here in a few seconds. It looks like Apple did not fix this. It looked like they did there for a second, but no. So as you can see that the phone has resprung. And now when it comes back, I do want to test the no label bug as well, because I get this question a lot every time a new software becomes available. I want to show you here, see if we can remove the labels from the icons here on the dock to see if that's still possible on the latest beta and uh, so far it looks like it's not possible maybe keep trying here nope still possible you can still remove the labels on the latest beta of iOS 10.3 beta 4 there's a few things that Apple did fix remember the black screen I showed you when opening certain applications that's no longer there it looks like the operating system finally feels a bit smoother Apple's getting a hold of everything and how everything is supposed to work with Apple's new file system everything is kind of falling in place as always I want to go ahead and share some Geekbench score tests here uh, that's just a must on my videos beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 and beta 4 let's go ahead and take a look here at the last two betas 3456 to a 3430 on a single core score and a multi-core score 5663 5652 so nothing drastic there the performance is close to identical to a previous version uh, excluding the fact that we no longer have those black screen when opening applications we also uh, as you saw there we still have a few bugs but all in all iOS 10.3 beta 4 uh, looks to be in the right direction everything seems to be running along really really smoothly now in terms of battery performance I've been testing it and testing and getting a lot of different results I can't really give you guys a solid answer on some devices I get better performance but that is just the way the beta software runs so I just want to wait to the official release to test the battery thoroughly and see what we get I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always if you did don't forget to click that like button much more videos coming your way be sure to stay tuned it's been a device help and I will catch you guys on the next one Peace.